Intellectual property rights in agriculture. Uh, recently, after the posting of a Wired.com article uh, that talked about John Deere and General Motors wanting to possibly make changes into uh, what ownership actually means for a piece of equipment, uh, a lot of farmers have started raising questions as to what ownership actually means. Uh, the issue that the Wired.com article brought up is not the, uh, the uh, tractor or vehicle itself but of the software that operates it. So the question posed is, if you buy a piece of equipment, do you actually own it? Uh, and when it comes to uh, tractors and things like that, yes, you, you do own the hardware, the actual iron that consists of that product, but the software and making changes to that software is where the question comes in. What is being talked about now is that uh, producers would not technically own the software or have the right to make changes to that software, but they would own the combine, the tractor, those types of things. And so it's kind of a general conversation as to what does ownership of these pieces of equipment mean. And so it comes down to the policy question. When you look at our policy on um, agricultural data and precision agriculture, we talk more about production and precision agriculture versus ownership of the data uh, that is generated or ownership of the equipment or the software that operates the equipment. And so it kind of leads us to another conversation into the technology side that as agriculture continues down this path of of uh, high tech, uh, the high tech movement in agriculture and in other things, where does agricultural fit into that? So the question that we should think about in terms of policy is, should agriculture be treated differently? You have a personal computer, you own the computer that you have, but you don't have necessarily have the right to make changes to the software that operates that computer. The same principle is what folks would like to apply to uh, vehicles and agricultural equipment. However, should agriculture be unique in that fact? Are we limiting innovation when it comes to tinkerers being able to mess with the software of a product and being able to make changes and possibly improve it to fit their own use. Uh, and so the question remains, should we be able to have uh, that policy allowed within agriculture uh, with the equipment that we buy versus, say, a personal computer and the software that operates that computer? Uh, it also goes into the line of, should there be multiple ownership options available for for uh, farmers and ranchers. If you'd like to make ch changes to the software of that equipment, should be, you'd be allowed to do so, but you would lose any warranty coverage that would exist under that tractor. So there are a couple different levels here that we'd like folks to be thinking about in terms of policy.